Good afternoon. I want to thank you all for being here and taking our time of your day to listen to the presentation that we'll be doing on Take Us How We're Heaters. I want to introduce to you who I have in my audience. I have Eric Barkley, which is the district director for Shreveport, Bobby Morgan, who is the uh, construction supervisor, Tracy Wafer, who is the business process representative. I have Steve Corrali, who is the manager of the business process group. I have Christy Daughter, who is the actual supervisor for Shreveport and surrounding area of the business process group, and Lana Lowe, who is a business process representative. Today, we're going to be discussing three different types of tankless hot water heaters. We've all heard the saying, take a cold shower. But really, who wants to take a cold shower? A lot of families are faced with this challenge daily to where, and, and the most common thing is a lot of families don't know how to solve this actual problem that they're facing with not having enough hot water. So this report is going to assist some families and help others to figure out that with a little research and time, it is very easy to solve that problem. We're going to take three different tankless hot water heaters. We have the Ring Fury, which is a 40 gallon tankless hot water heater. It can be used as propane or gas and the cost for that is $500. We have the actual GE Geo Springs, which is an all-electric 50 gallon hot water heater, and it costs $1,140. And we have the EcoSmart ECO 27, which is another electric all water, all uh, the tankless hot water heater, and it ranges at 505. So we will discuss today the cost, as I just did, and you can see that out of those three, the actual Ring Fury, cost the less at $500. So we will discuss the uh, performance, the actual efficiency and value of those three products. But don't get caught up on pricing alone because as you see, just because something's cheap does not make it better. Just because something's expensive doesn't make it good. So you have to do your research to figure out what it is that you're looking for in the needs of your family. So we're gonna get with the performance of these actual items. You have your uh, Fury, your Ream Fury 40 gallon tank. It actually operates as a 73 gallon tank. It gives the first peak hour of 73 gallons of hot water for a family. So that is more than enough water, hot water to supply a family's needs. And we're going to move now to the actual uh, Geo GE uh, Springs. That is a 50 gallon tank and it actually operates on a 65 gallon for the rate of return for the first hour of uh, producing hot water for a family. But the only downside to that is it goes in high demand mode the more you use it. So you have a chance of running your electric bill a little higher due to the capacity of your family or the amount of water you need to use. Then you have your uh, Eco Smart. That's a 40 gallon tank. It's smaller, compact tank. And it does, it, the downside to that one in the performance realm, it does not perform in 37 degrees or below Fahrenheit temperature. So if you're in a colder climate, that would not be the go-to appliance that you would need for your family. You would have to evaluate that more so on the electric side or on if you wanted to purchase that for your family. Now we're gonna go into the actual efficiency of those. The efficiency for the actual ring, it produces its natural gas, so it runs cheaper than most of your electric water heaters. It gives you the ample amount of continuous hot water that you'll need to operate in your home. And you would also need to consider when you're using natural gas products in your home. If you are a person that has been used to electric, you'll see a downturn in your bill going to the natural gas product because it's gonna let up on your electricity side. And when you, the uh, GE Geo Springs with the efficiency part is 62% usage saving on your bill because it has actually a, it goes in the 50 percentile downturn when you're not using that actual 
hot water heater. It does not, it stores the water to keep it at a temperature to where it's not constantly heating it too much. So the efficiency of that for a family would work out if they are choosing to stay electric. Your EcoSmart is not as efficient because it does not have a storage tank to keep your water reheated. It actually, when it's not used, it the water just sits idle. And the, uh, a binning is called abinant air, which does not flow and turn the actual, to keep the water going on the temperature that instantaneous means when you're wanting to go tankless, you want your water to come out instantly hot. So in the efficiency era, that is not a go-to appliance for some families. But in instance on the efficiency of it, the Geo Spring is the best to operate efficiency-wise due to its the 62% savings it gives your household. And when you look at the actual Ring Fury, it actually comes in with a better performance and a better cost out of those three. And the value of all three of those, when you're looking at your value for your Ring Fury, it did not make the mark for an Energy Star rated certified appliance. It came in at 0 0.57. And to be Energy Star efficiently certified, you have to have a 0 0.67. So it missed the mark on that. But if you are natural gas, from my research, natural gas is the cheapest in most countries. It's cheaper to operate natural gas. And when you look at your Geo Spring, it actually is an energy certified appliance. And it also has the because it comes in at 2.4, and for a lot of families, that is a tax credit if they choose to purchase that actual item with the being all electric heater. The EcoSmart, it has, it's not a more energy efficient one, even though it's electric and how small the compact of that actual appliance is. It's, it generates a lot of, it, overuses itself and it uses electricity even though it's not using water. So it's not a go-to use for some families that are trying to save money in some areas. The warranty on those three, you have your Ring Fury that has a six-year warranty on your parts and your tank. It does not cover labor, but it doesn't have a, it's not a limited warranty. It covers parts and a tank all together. Your Geo Spring actually has a 10-year limited warranty. So you have to really look at the gray areas when you're dealing with limited because it only covers parts on that one. And your labor is a one-year warranty. So that will give you some weight options if you're wanting to, because you're spending $1,100 on this actual piece. So you, want, you don't want to have to overexpend when you're dealing with repairs. And on the EcoSmart, it actually has a lifetime warranty, but that lifetime warranty only covers your electronics, your exchangers, and parts of your, uh, your tank is not included. So it doesn't have any labor charges, any labor coverage. So you'll be, with that actual uh, piece of equipment, it costs more to install it. So you have to weigh your options on your installation and your repairs. So you have to outline for your family what would be the best option. From my research and what I got from all three of these appliances, I would, would recommend the Ring Fury to a family due to the natural gas is cheaper. The installation is not much. Your venting system would be something you would have to probably work with on your gas one. And also, the repair part of it is not expensive as the other two. So my recommendation to families would be to, what is your need for your house? But from my research, I would recommend the Ring Fury 40 gallon tank, which is a natural gas or propane, which we know propane can be pretty expensive to operate. So for families that are looking to make it better and comfort for their household, that would be the better buy for your money and I just want to thank you all for participating and coming in and have a good day. Thank you.
Did you record that, girl?